afternoon, folks. I have a question here for you. A question mark. The question is. This is the question. If you try to read, are you? Are you ready? Are you ready for what? What do you need to be ready for? When you go on a holiday, you need to make preparation, right? You need to choose your destination. You need to get a passport to go to a different country. The question here for you is: going to another country, another city. Are you ready to? This is a very important question. Are you ready to to meet? Who are you supposed to meet at the end of your life? We all have an appointment. We all have an appointment with. With God, doesn't matter how old you are, how young. We all will die sooner or later. When the time comes, when you close your eyes, you will have to meet God, the Creator, the Maker of all things. The Bible tells us that God is love, the truth. God loves everyone. But it doesn't mean that everyone will go to heaven. God sets the rule. God is holy, no unforgiven sinners. No, it because of sin that causes us to be separated from God. And yet, God is love. God loves you and me. That He made a way for us to escape His punishment. I don't have to tell you that we all will end up here. The Bible tells us that the wages of sin is death. But well, death is inevitable. You all will die sooner or later. The problem is after death. Where do you go? After death, where do you go? It is important to find out, to be prepared to meet your God. There are only two places. There is heaven, and where God wants you to live. To be with Him forever, for God so loved you, the world, that He sent His one and only Son, Jesus, to die on the cross. If you would repent, if you would tell God that, if you told God that you are a sinner, we're all sinners, all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. No one is exempt. As long as you are alive, you are born. We have King David said that in sin did my mother conceive me. We are sinners by birth, by practice, by what we do. Whatever we, we when we look at a woman lustfully, a man lustfully, we have committed adultery. And yet, because of God's love for you, unless you are born again. You are not able to go to heaven. What does it mean to be born again? To to go back to your mother's womb and come out again? No. The lawyer Nicodemus said that. How can I be born again? To be born again means that to receive Jesus as your Lord and Savior, because the Bible said that the wages of sin is death. But God has a gift for you. The gift of God is eternal life. 
because Jesus Christ, God's Son, who loved you and gave himself for you. He died on the cross and took your sin and my sin so that we, if you would repent and believe Jesus died on the cross for your sin and mine, A, admit to God that you are a sinner, all have sinned. Believe that Jesus died on the cross and three days later he is alive. The last thing is A, B, C, very simple. The C is whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. You know, the Bible tells us that the gift, God has a gift for you. The gift of, another one, the gift of God is eternal life. Only through Jesus Christ. No one can forgive your sin. The punishment for sin is death. Because Adam, by one man, Adam disobeyed God, and sin came into the world, and that all have sinned. We are all sinners by birth, by practice, by things we say we do. So don't think that you can give money to people Good works cannot save you. Only putting your faith and trust in Jesus Christ, who loved you and gave himself for you. The message, we, doesn't matter. our message is about love and peace. Jesus Christ is the Prince of Peace. He shed his blood on the cross. Without shedding of blood, there's no forgiveness of sin. Your good works cannot save you, cannot take away your sin. Your money cannot buy you into heaven. If you step into McDonald's, not going to make you a hamburger. Some people say that, oh, I go to church. Going to church doesn't give you forgiveness of sin, doesn't save you. You have to go to the Savior of the world, who is Jesus Christ, God sent his son, to be the savior of the world. Sin condemns us to hell, but because of God's love, for God so loved you and me, that he sent his one and only son, that whosoever shall believe that Jesus died on the cross for our sin and rose again. Jesus is alive. A dead person can save you, can do anything for you. Common sense, isn't it? If you kick a dead person, he won't react. Jesus Christ is alive. Why right, Jesus? He said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes to the Father except by him. He, if he is not, he wasn't who he said he was. He would be a crazy man. He said that you believe in me, you have eternal life. You'll be able to go to heaven. You believe in me, your sins will be forgiven. If you put your faith and trust in me, you will be able to live forever. You don't need to spend a lot of money to, to, to beautify yourself and to get yourself to live forever. You know what? Everyone is going to live forever. The question is where? Where are you going to live forever? If you have a I mean, a common sense. Do you want to throw your body in the lake of fire? No. You want to go to a place that with peace, with joy, with hope. And you will be able to live forever if you would admit to God, ask God to forgive you, believe Jesus, die on the cross for your sin, and confess. Roman Catholic people will be very familiar with the word confession. You confess to the priest, he can save you. He can forgive your sin. The priest is also a sinner. No one is holy as the Lord. Jesus Christ is holy, righteous. He is without sin. He is separate from sinners. He, God, became man. Jesus Christ is man. It's God in human flesh. Emmanuel, Christmas. The message of Christmas, Emmanuel. What does it mean? It means God with us. Some other religion, they don't believe that Jesus Christ is God. Jesus Christ is divine. 
he is God. If Jesus Christ wasn't God, we, his blood, would be defiled like you and I. Sinners, Jesus Christ is not. He's separate from sinners. He's holy, he's righteous. He is because he is God. So that's why it's important. Either you receive Jesus, the free gift of salvation, or you end up because of sin, die in your unforgiven sin, and end up in the lake of fire. God wants you to live in heaven. God wants you to enjoy eternal life. Ultimately, we will be coming down to earth. There will be new heaven and new earth. We have a wonderful message for you. Do you have hope in this world? Look at what's going on. And the, the, the situation, the COVID, the Bible prophesied this will happen. COVID, it is the, the event that God is telling you that the end time is here. Judgment is coming. So today is the day of salvation. Tomorrow may be too late. Do not harden your heart. Satan is a deceiver. He is the father of lies. Believe on the Lord Jesus. Get a Bible. We have three Bible here. You can come and get one. Read front enough. I am just it boggles my mind that the government, the medical personnel tell you that you have to wear a mask, you have to do this and separate yourself and lock into your house. You know what? Many people, you obey the law of the government, what the government is saying, rather well, than they're not making a law that we can still... The thing is, you obey, you listen to the government to a T. And yet, the Bible tells us that how you can have your life uh, fixed up, how you can enjoy everlasting life, enjoy peace, how you can find hope. And people don't believe. They believe that God sent His Son. People don't believe that there is a God. There's a God in heaven who loves you and gave His Son to be your Savior, to save you. you you, you obey the government, why don't you? The government is just man, they make mistakes, right? You might not even like the ruling, the, the, the thing of the government uh, decision. But God, who doesn't lie, who loves you too much, let man be a liar. God is not a liar. So today we are here to bring you hope, to bring you peace, and bring you Jesus Christ, who is the Savior of the world. Believe on the Lord Jesus and you shall be saved. Thank you. The truth, the life, the only way.